Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and I'm here in beautiful Atlantic City behind the Bass Pro Shops. We're going to walk around to the front in a moment. One of my favorite places to visit no matter what city I'm in in the U.S. I don't hunt, I don't fish, I don't camp. I used to do some of that stuff. Never hunted, but um, I just enjoy going in there and just walking around and window shopping. I love just, I, every time, I can't express it, I just love going into Bass Pro Shops. I don't know why. I just do. Before we do though, I'm behind it like I said because we're on the border of Ducktown here in Atlantic City and I'm just going to show you a landmark restaurant that uh, is right up the street here. Follow me. In case you're wondering, right now we're walking along Mississippi Avenue, which is on the northern border of the Ducktown neighborhood here in Atlantic City. More on Ducktown here on the New York Channel in future videos. What looks like an alleyway pretty much is, but it's an official street here in Atlantic City. Probably the smallest one, with its own street sign, Rufu Terrace. This is St. Michael's Church, considered by many to be one of the most beautiful churches here in Atlantic City, and the city does have plenty of beautiful churches. The church was fully restored inside and out approximately 20 years ago. Here we have the Dante Theater, a cozy performance venue showcasing plays, films, and lectures in a restored circa 1926 space. So again, I'm on the border of the Ducktown neighborhood here in Atlantic City. Behind me, Bass Pro Shop, which is where we're heading. Uh, a little bit that way is the Tanger Outlets. Just did a video there uh, right before this one. But the reason I came through the back is to show you White House Subs. This is the original location. Uh, they do have another location in Hard Rock. Some people say the sandwiches are better here. I think the sandwiches taste about the same, but there's nothing like coming to this original building. It's historic. It's got a great atmosphere. The Hard Rock just can't offer that, but they do offer a good sandwich in both locations. Uh, I do have a video here on the New York channel if you want to check it out was done uh, I guess about two years ago but I'm bound to do a new one very soon For the past few years, a lot of activity on the northern end of the boardwalk here in Atlantic City, but a lot of stuff going on here on the southern end as well, especially here in Ducktown. I'm probably gonna do a video here very shortly, show you all the restaurants and attractions here. It's a great neighborhood here in Atlantic City. Ducktown Park, which is where we are right now, is located right across the street from White House Sub. So if you're in the mood of having lunch al fresco outdoors, you just have to drag your sandwich right across the street. But of course, there's nothing quite like the White House experience inside White House Subs. You thought we'd never get to Bass Pro Shops, didn't you? You guys know I like to show you around a little bit before we get to the task at hand. I've been to several Bass Pro Shops around the country. Uh, recently one in Las Vegas. That video is available here on the New York channel. That store I think was a little bit bigger, but they're all beautiful. That Las Vegas Bass Pro Shops is part of the Silverton Hotel and Casino Complex. Now, I know we just walked into the store, but I really wouldn't mind this as my own personal living room. This is what I'm talking about. You don't need to hunt or fish or camp or whatever to come to Bass Pro Shops. Just look at these pillows. I think every house needs one, at least one thrown on the bed or on a sofa somewhere. Well, at least I do.
Atlantic City has some great fishing. Whether you're deep sea fishing out in the Atlantic or somewhere on the backwater, there's always a place to go fishing around here. As a matter of fact, over on the marina side, people just fish right off the pier. And there's no shortage of fishing gear here at Bass Pro Shops. What surprised me was the store in Las Vegas also had a ton of fishing and boating accessories. Now I know Las Vegas obviously doesn't have an ocean. Uh, they do have a few lakes, but I just didn't expect that much fishing stuff in the middle of the desert. But yeah, apparently they sell it. But all this fishing gear here in Atlantic City certainly doesn't surprise me. Tons of fishing, not only in Atlantic City, but up and down the Jersey Shore. Maybe someday this summer I'll rent a pole and do a fishing video. How's that sound? Although I really wouldn't know what I was doing, but I guess that would make it more entertaining. Tackle boxes and bags are great for lots of stuff around the house, not just fishing lures. Any of you New Yorkers fishermen or fishing persons, I guess? Leave a comment below. What kind of fishing do you do? Is it deep sea fishing? Is it river fishing? Lake fishing? Again, leave a comment below. We'd all be interested in hearing about it. Obviously, you can tell by my videos, I'm no fashionista, but for a store like this, they have some pretty stylish clothing. I think every Bass Pro Shops has a lot of uh, hunting and water features throughout the store, and most of them have a huge aquarium. As a matter of fact, the store in Las Vegas that I recently visited had a naked man dive into the aquarium. Uh, not a good idea, he was quickly arrested. That's a very small black box censoring the photo. That water must have been extremely cold. Here's a chart showing all the different fish in the aquarium. I remember when my niece was growing up, she was a young girl at the time, she would always ask me, which one's your favorite? Which one's your favorite? If, for example, we saw a chart like this, or even going down the cereal aisle at the supermarket, which one's your favorite? I think that was the beginning of my influencer career. This is a great gear bag for $12.99. I love all the pockets, great for the car. This is something also that you can uh, just fold up and shove into your luggage when you're going away on a trip or whatever, just in case you need an extra bag on the way home. I think I'll be going home with one of these. That's a great price. I'll tell you one thing, no shortage of plaid here at Bass Pro Shops. Just a friendly reminder, if you're enjoying all the videos here on the New York channel, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you're enjoying walking around shopping with me today, in this video in particular, give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching and giving the video a thumbs up, guys. Now we're heading into the camping area of the store. I haven't been camping in over 20 years, at least 20 years. I used to enjoy it a lot. I'm not sure if I would enjoy it these days, but I, I did back then. I still have all my camping equipment up in the attic these days, and uh, I have no idea what condition they're in, but it's mostly like nylon stuff and, and cast iron. I'm sure it's in perfect condition. Last time I went camping, I ate Chef Boyardee raviolis out of the can. That's the last time I had Chef Boyardee. These days, if I go camping, well, the campsite would have to be within walking distance of a nice Italian restaurant. Okay, now we're heading into the snack area and the gift shop area and the, uh, I guess, everyday accessory area. 
I like how every area of the store seems to have its own theme. Right now it feels like we're underwater with the mural on the wall and all the hanging fish from the ceiling. I used to go deep sea fishing and uh, I do know a little bit about taxidermy and fish. Those fish hanging from the ceiling, there are actual parts of real fish in those uh, stuffed fish, if you will. Usually it's the teeth and the fins, the rest is all made up and they uh, judge the size of the fish by the size of the fins. Now that was a long time ago and things could have changed over the years, but I'm pretty sure that's the way taxiderm is still stuff fish, if you want to call it stuffing. By the way, if you do catch a nice fish and you'd like to bring the teeth and fins to a taxidermist to rebuild it for you, if you will, I know way back when it was extremely expensive, so today it must be extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. Some more clothing and clothing accessories. We're almost uh, more than halfway through this video, I should say, and I'd like to get your opinion on something. I, I can't help but go into a Bass Pro Shop every time I pass one. If you were walking down the street and saw a Bass Pro Shop, would you stop in based on this video, or would you uh, just keep on walking? This doesn't interest you at all. Let me know in the comments below. We're gonna head upstairs now, lots of hunting stuff upstairs as we'll see, including a lot of guns and rifles. They have a huge selection of guns and rifles or whatever you wanna call them for hunting here. Uh, I don't really don't know what the protocol is for recording video around a gun store, so I'm just gonna stay away from the gun counter just to be safe. They might be fine with it, or they may shoot me. I have no idea. Hunting is something that I have no interest, never had any interest, and in, currently have no interest in doing. I just couldn't bring myself to doing something like that. But it's funny, because I have no problem fishing or deep sea fishing, and uh, that seems kind of hypocritical, and I have to do some soul searching, I guess, to find out why I don't have a problem fishing, and I do have a problem hunting. I have no idea. All I can say is I'm human, and I do have my flaws. Earlier in the video, I uh, mentioned that I might do a fishing video come this spring or summer. It was an idea that I had while editing this video, and now that I think of it, I think it really is a good idea. I don't know much about freshwater fishing and lures and flies and things like that, so it might make for a pretty entertaining video. And this place is huge. The camouflage department here at Bass Pro Shops is very hard to find. Okay, I've used that joke before and I just can't help myself. I think it's very funny. Speaking of camouflage clothing, my other channel, the New York channel, does some cruising videos. And uh, many of you might not even realize it, but you cannot wear camouflage clothing on a lot of the Caribbean islands. It's against the law. Lots of cruisers don't realize that, and when they get off the boat, well, the government of the Caribbean island will send them right back to the ship to change their clothes. I'm not kidding. I guess their philosophy is similar to the American philosophy where you can't walk around in America dressed up like a policeman. In the Caribbean Isles, you cannot walk around dressed up like a military person. This stairway is actually going underneath the waterfalls here at uh, Bass Pro Shops, and perfect place to take off all your clothes and jump into that aquarium. Did I say my other channel is the New York channel? Well, this channel is the New York channel. Sometimes I get confused.
Hey guys, if you're a super fan of the New York channel, why not send me a super thanks? Just click on that thanks button right underneath the video you're watching right now. That thanks button is right next to the thumbs up button. And uh, if you do, I appreciate your support and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Lots of great brochures to uh, see what there is to see and do around here in Atlantic City. Or just stay tuned to the New York Channel and you'll see eventually most of them. As we head on back outside, we have the Tanger Outlet Shopping Center right across the street, which is uh, last week's upload here on the New York Channel. And as you can see, Caesars and Dave and & Buster's, everything is within walking distance of this area. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, once again, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon, and I'll see you around the city.